Okay people, welcome to my uh, first video on Planet Side 2. Uh, could be my last, depends how this goes. We'll see what happens. Um, today I'm going to try to show you the uh, difference between the thermal optics and the um, uh, night vision. So within the uh, breaker rockets you have these options here. The infrared optics, which I've previously had unlocked for quite a long period of time which costs you 50 certs and then the thermal optics which cost you 200 certs now they patched the infrared optics recently so they reduce the visibility range on it um, I don't think they touched the thermal I'm not sure about that but the question was asked was whether or not the thermal was now better than the infrared uh, so I thought I'll unlock the thermal and take it out and test it so what I'm going to do is uh, go deep into uh, bandit country as it were, um, set a waypoint and then compare the two uh, using the Reaver. Um, I'll take him with a so I can hack the terminal at the AMP station and uh, swap the, uh, the vehicle options and then uh, see what difference they are. So uh, I won't show you me going through Bandit Country um, and uh, edit it out. As you can see, I've set a waypoint up right over that turret there. So what I'll do is I'll go back a certain distance. If we're looking at the turret through what um, night vision distance of what 270 we aren't seeing anything we're not even seeing the turret beforehand I can press uh, Q to spot the turret obviously I'll bring it in a bit the turret on the left is starting to appear as we get closer to 200 now turrets in view So I'd say about 200 metres. Um, now we have the um, thermal optics in place. As you can see, it's very dark beyond the visible sort of range that it's set up for. Um, and I'll bring it in. I'm not even I'm not even seeing the first turret um, as we get close to 200. Not seen it at all really. Obviously, press Q. Right, the other first turret's coming in. Just about seeing the other one, so. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot shorter. Although it's a lot brighter at a closer distance, as you can see. Thought I'd quickly show you what it looks like. Um just above a amp station here so as you can see very bright in the uh, areas that are within the range but everything is extremely dark very cl uh, yeah very short distance away
So yeah, in conclusion, I would say stick with the uh, infrared optics um, for now, uh, unless they start doing other patches in the future. If they change it again, I'll have another look. Uh, by all means, make any comments you feel like below, and um, I may consider doing another video or something else. We'll see. Anyway, catch you later. Cheers.